Horse like he prances like a pony. He does everything with a little more. His ass. Phoenix has cerebellar hyperplasia. That is a condition where his cerebellum wasn't formed properly when he was little. He seemed to really have just quite a personality of joy and freedom and ridiculousness. Are you the happiest boy on the planet? Feeny, I love you. Oh. This is Zoe. I'm Eric. And this is Phoenix's story for Jones. He got dropped off at a kill shelter with his sister, who has the same condition. Her name is Nube. Is that your sister, Phoenix? <sighs> when they were found, they both couldn't stand up. He was emaciated. They were about to be put down. The kill shelter contacted I stand with my pack. They had about a month taking care of them to get their weight back up until the point where he could be fostered and then adopted. We fell in love with him. <laughs> he couldn't run without falling down and he couldn't even walk in a straight line. And he can do all of that as he's gotten older. He's been able to be more coordinated and walk more effectively. I love you. The vet has assured us Phoenix isn't in any pain. When he meets people or dogs for the first time, he is very sweet, very kind, very playful. <laughs> All dogs develop a really lovely bond with Phoenix and we think that is because of his little weakness. They just have a really amazing way of being kind and considerate to him. We take Phoenix for five walks a day. He goes out for a walk, they'll come home and be happy for about an hour. But then he'll go back towards the front door like waiting for his next walk because he loves it. Jump on grandma. I'm healthy at times. <laughs> I am infatuated with Phoenix. Animals are so present. They're so joyful. They don't hide their emotions. They don't hide how they're feeling. It's been such an opportunity to learn how to love him in his own special way. It has changed my life in the most beautiful ways. I'm just so grateful to be his mom and I love him so much. I love you. What?